Well, ships are on the move again in the Suez Canal. Well, the immediate crisis blockage has ended. The battle over damages, well, it's just beginning. With cargoes delayed for weeks, if not months, the blockage could unleash a flood of claims by everyone affected, from shipping lines to manufacturers and oil producers. It's estimated that the cost of the canal's closure was $10 billion a day. Bloomberg's Danny Berger explains. Traffic has resumed again at the Suez Canal, but there still is a pretty sizable queue at the northern end to enter. About several hundred vessels are waiting to make this journey, but it is hard to know at this moment how many of those are because of the blockage or have joined recently. Still, the Suez Canal Authority says it might take two and a half days to finally clear this queue. This is the moment a lot of ships have been waiting for, and most did wait it out. But as you can see, there are definitely a few vessels who decided to go around the coast of Africa instead, probably a now frustrating decision, considering it'll add on about 6,000 miles to their journey. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.